In this video, I'll be explaining binary to BCD and BCD to binary. I won't be making anything in this video, but I'll show you what you need to make and explain uh, how it works. So first of all, we'll start with binary to BCD. And what you're going to want to do is make a unit that takes four bits and adds three to any number over four up to and including nine. Uh, so what that'll achieve is if I put in, say, 3, it'll still output a 3. If I put output 4, it'll output 4. But if I put a 5, it'll output an 8. So you're just going to want to make a unit that pretty much just does, just adds 3 to anything over 4, up to 9. Um... This will make more sense when you tile it together. If I add another one, because you'll be adding just a single one to the end product once you tile the rest of them together. So if I were to put that just like this and give you another example, Let's say I put in 15 without using this one down here. So 15 outputs as binary 15, which you don't want. So and one is one is always one, so we only we add a one that doesn't change. because uh, one is always one. So if we put in the same thing, we get a 5 in the units column here with these four bits just down here and a 1 in what would be the tens column if there were another three bits after this that those four bits would be the tens so essentially what this unit is doing is this thinks it's a 7 and it's adding 3 which is outputting a 10 and because we've got this one here, well now it's a five. So this becomes the first bit in the units. So I'll show you what a 16 bit binary to BCD encoder looks like. So this is a 16-bit binary to BCD encoder. And I'll just try and zoom out a bit more just to give you an idea of the layout. So this is your one bit down here. And your two bit goes into the first unit. Well, the last unit, I guess, but this unit just here. So every number goes into these last units just down here until you get to the last four numbers which go into this last unit here. Uh, I'll just give you an idea of the wiring for it. So hang on, zoom out a bit. So all the wiring is pretty much the same unit to unit. Uh, there's, just zoom in a bit more, all of these here that go up to the next unit, do that on every unit. Um, and now I'll show you a 32-bit version. Oh, zoom out again, just to give you another quick look at the wiring here. All right, and now a 32-bit version. Okay, this is the 32-bit binary to BCD encoder. Uh, it's a lot bigger. It's wired the same way though. It just has a a lot more of the, the units. These last, this last column here is 10 and the subsequent columns are 
just one less, basically. So this would be two columns of 10, and this is one column of 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and as used in Z, 1. And yeah, it's wired exactly the same way. Try and give you a good overview. Um, hopefully you can screenshot this and zoom in or something. Can't really get it all in the screen at once at a decent size. Um, okay, so now we'll move on to BCD to binary. Okay, so for BCD to binary, what you're going to want to do is make a unit like this, which takes in a 4-bit binary number up to 15 and minuses 3. So anything from 8 to 15, you minus 3 from. And the same goes again, you'll add another 1 down the bottom here. So if I were to put in, say, 15, it'll give me 12. Uh, if I were to put in 9, it gives me 6. So basically, just make a unit that will achieve that. And I'll show you how to make the BCD to binary encoder. Okay, so this is a five digit BCD to 16 bit binary, I guess decoder or encoder, either way. Um, and it's pretty much just the same thing as binary to BCD. It's just backwards. It's just the same pattern, just backwards. And you wire everything pretty much just the opposite way. So the lights will be wired the way the buttons were for binary to BCD. Um, and it's the same thing with the 32-bit version of this. It's exactly the same pattern, just the opposite way around. Um, I should mention with these that it is basically just the same thing that you're doing with the other unit where instead of adding 3, you're subtracting 3, but it's still treating it like normal binary instead of actually BCD but it gives you the correct result. That wasn't what I was meant to do, but that's, that's what I was meant to do. There we go. So that would be 32. No, what would that be? 10. What am I talking about? 1, 2, 4, 8. That's 10. What am I talking about? 32. This would be 32. So that's 32. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So now I will show you the 32 bit version of this. So this is the 32-bit version. Oh wait, this is binary to BCD. Wrong one. Here we go. This is the 32-bit version of BCD to binary. So basically, yeah, it's just like the 32-bit binary to BCD. It's just the same pattern, just backwards. Um, same thing with the other one. The wiring is, hang on, I'll just get in on that. Uh, you go down from each unit to the next. And you cross over to a couple up there. 
Wow. That's not what I was trying to do. Um, and okay. So now I'll show you what I've done with this now that I've got a larger BCD encoder or decoder. So now that I've learnt the proper method of BCD to binary, I thought I'd update the calculator a bit and I've added a couple of extra functions and given the option for a larger answer. So what I've added is squaring and square root. So I'll just give a quick example of that. So let's go with six five five three five and we'll square it here we go and now we'll do six five five three five and we'll do the square root and there we go. It doesn't have any remainder for the square root, but that's the square root. And that's about it. Okay. Thank you for watching.